Let's move to reporter Avery Gingrich. He is at Republican headquarters at the Crown Plaza. Been listening in to those acceptance speeches, thank yous tonight. Update us on what you're hearing now, Avery. John, well, I can tell you, the atmosphere has definitely picked up. When we last spoke, I told you that there was an influx of a crowd. That crowd is settled into the room, and there's still some people coming in. But after the series of speakers we had, both state and federal representatives, giving, at the very least, congrats, uh, thank you speeches to supporters, staffs, friends, family, and so some of them sounded more like victory speeches, the room is buzzing. Congressman Tim Burchett most recently spoke. He said he was very thankful to voters. Listen in. Really overwhelming to think that that many the, the percentages that we continue to win with. With the, you know, if you'd listen to the internet, I guess I'd go hide under a bridge somewhere because uh, you know all the negativity. But I've, I've kind of grown accustomed to the heat, and um, I'm in the right place in history. I think right now that we got a lot of things we need to do. Um, Knox County Republican Chairman Buddy Burkhart continues to see continues to seem to be the MC of this event, though we don't have any speakers right now. Over both of my shoulders there are large flat screen TVs playing Fox News as well as uh, the Knox County Election Commission's running tally of votes as they are being counted live. They are getting live updates from the stage as well as folks from watching the crowds. There are rounds of applause bursting out randomly. But as I said before, the room is buzzing. Folks are talking behind me and it is only getting louder. John. Avery, this is a question um, from Robin. Are you getting a sense of how people are feeling about the presidential election there? We are, Robin. We are, Robin. I talked to some folks who said that this, that what is happening here in Tennessee all the way up to the White House is one continuous strain. They say that the Republican Party speaks for what one person told me, the moral majority of this country that he at least feels has been suppressed over over during the Biden administration. He says both from here in East Tennessee all the way up to the White House that if the Republicans do pull out, do pull it out, uh, messaging in the country is going to change and he feels that he at least will be better represented. Avery Gingrich live at the Republican headquarters for us tonight. Avery, thank you very much.